Hello, third grade. Welcome to our project-based learning week two. Let's get started. So remember, we are designing a journey to the moon story inside of Scratch. This week, step two, we're going to create a spaceship, a rocket ship to get ourselves off the earth and into the moon. We need something to travel in. The software we're going to use to do that is called Tinkercad. So Tinkercad is this really cool software that lets us design in three dimensions. So we're gonna use this to design our rocket and then we could use that rocket picture and look at it from all different kinds of angles and import that picture into Scratch so that way we have it and we can put it into all different kinds of scenes for our video. So let's dive in and take a look at the actual assignment and see how to do this. So when you get to your assignment, it'll say distance learning week of April 27th, and you'll see your assignment here, Tinkercad your rocket. And we can see our steps, which are to watch the video, go to Tinkercad, create your rocket, and then submit the picture of your rocket in Google. So let's walk through that. The first step is to watch the video, which you already are. So once you're done watching the video, uh, I'd watch it all the way through first before you try to do this. Then we're gonna click on Tinkercad and it will take us to Tinkercad. Now I'm already signed in, so let me show you what it looks like to sign in. So you're gonna click sign in, which is this button up here on the right. It says sign in. We're not joining, we're, si we're signing in. And we're gonna sign in with Google. Now, if you've never been on it before, it might tell you that you have never signed in to Tinkercad, which is okay. Uh, you would just click join Tinkercad. And again, it's going to ask you to sign in, but you're going to click on create a personal account. I don't have student accounts for you because we're not in school, so I can't pass all that information out to you. So we're going to click create a personal account, but it's going to be linked to your school Google account. So that's okay. So we're going to click sign in with Google and it'll ask you about your Google account. You're going to select your Google name and then it will take you right to the Tinkercad um, dashboard. So the first thing we're going to do is click on create a new design, which is this blue button up here. You can see there's some already designs in here. And we get this work plane. So to create a rocket, what I think we should do is take a cylinder and put a cylinder right here in the center of our screen. Now, if I want to move things around, this little box up here on the left, okay, you see it up there on the left? If you move it around, you can control the view of your picture. You can get a quick view by clicking on front, and then you see this little arrow here? We can kind of flip the box around and hit bottom from the side from the front. And if we want to grab it on the edge again, we can and see it. If you get lost, you can click on this little home button and it'll arrange your workspace so you can see a view of your picture. We can also zoom in a little bit by clicking this box, which gives us a little bit more control. And then we can also zoom in and zoom out using this plus and minus. So those are really helpful. So the first thing I want to do is make my rocket taller. So I'm going to take my cylinder and you see in the center, there is this little white dot that when I move my mouse over it, it turns red. And then there's this little cone shape. Let me zoom in so you can see it. See this little cone shape here? This allows me to move and change the size. So this one right here, the cone shape moves it. So if I do this, it moves it up and down off the ground and it tells me how much I moved it. If I wanna change its size, I wanna make it taller. I want the white square in the middle. And when I highlight over it, it turns red. So I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag and make it taller. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Make it taller. and make it taller, there we go. So that looks like the beginning of a rocket. Now I have to put a nose cone on my rocket. Fortunately, there's a shape over here called a paraboloid, a paraboloid that allows me to do that kind of shape for my rocket. It's kind of positioned weird. 
So it's like down here. I want it to be up on top of the rocket. So one of the things I can do is first put it so it's almost inside the rocket. Now, if you lose it, um, you could always recreate it. But this one, I want to move up. So to move up, remember, it's the cone, not the square. So I want to move it up. So I'm going to click on the cone and I'm going to move it up. And you can see it going up through the rocket, up through the rocket, up, and there it is. So now I have my nose cone. And I can zoom out a little bit. So, so far, it looks like I have a good amount of my rocket built. The next thing I want to do is put some fins on. This can be a little tricky, but I thought maybe a star would work well to make fins. So I'm going to put this in here at the bottom. And if you want to do something different, you can. You can use any shape you want. So I'm going to put a star on there. And I'm going to shrink it a little bit so I get it. So it's just the fins. Okay, that's not too bad. So there's my star. Now, if I don't want to use that star, I could use a different star. Or if you wanted to really make your own fins, you could go through and draw different shapes. That's not too bad. So there's a different rock. So there's my rocket. Okay. Now I'm ready to get a picture of my rocket. Now, the only problem is I don't want a picture that has this blue background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my whole rocket and I'm going to draw a box around it. The way that I'm going to draw a box around it is I'm going to click and drag. Oh, it should have been see-through. Let me do that again. Click and drag. There we go. It draws a red dotted line box around it. And now it selects everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it off this platform because I don't want to see this platform. I want to like move it way out of the way. I don't want to see this platform in my picture. But then I need to center it so I can see my rocket again. So I'm going to press this second button down here underneath the little house. And now I can see just my rocket, but I still got a little bit of my platform there. So I'm going to move my rocket over a little bit more. I'm going to press the home button again. There we go. So now I can only see my rocket and I don't see any of that background and I can position it however I want. So if I want it to look like it's shooting at me, I can do that. If I want to look at it from the side, again, I just got to be careful not to get the ground in the background so I can move it and position it however I want to position it. So let's say I'm having it flying towards me. Now I want to submit the picture. To submit the picture, we're going to come up here to the right and we're going to click Send To. And the first option here is a picture of your design. I'm going to click the Download Locally button and it'll download to your Chromebook. Now, the only thing is it has a weird name. If you don't like the name, we can go in and click on this right up here on the top left and change the name. You might want to do that and call it my rocket. So that way it's easier to find. And then we could, I'm going to resend it to myself. So download again. And this time it'll save as my rocket. So next thing to do is add my picture into my Google assignment. So I'm going to go back to my Google assignment. And then I'm going to click on view assignment, just like we did in the past. And I'm going to add this time, I'm going to add a file. So I'm going to click on file. And then I got to go through and find where my picture is. Now for you, most of you, it should show up right in your list of pictures. And if not, um, I can help you find it in a Zoom conference. But I think most of you should be able to find it. So I'm going to find mine. I don't need you to see my hard drive, so I'm going to hide it. So now I have added my rocket picture up to my Google Drive. I'm going to click upload. And now my rocket picture has been uploaded to my Tinkercad rocket assignment. Now I'm ready to just click turn in. So I'm going to click turn in and submit my document. It's going to say one attachment will be submitted. Turn in. And there we go. I have submitted my Tinkercad project. So the, the goal for this week is for you to submit the picture of your rocket 
And then uh, we also then have it saved inside of Tinkercad. So when we want to use it in other different ways inside of our Scratch program, we can. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.